And are you going straight to your literary agent first, or who gets first crack at it? Uh, actually, that depends on whether the whether the book is under contract or not. So, oh, makes sense. yeah. So with um, with uh, Cloud and Wallfish, for instance, um, there uh, my agent saw it first, and then it went to to uh, Kaylin Adair. And then, but but then Candlewick had bought that plus another book, and that book, the second one, was only like one sentence mentioned on a phone call uh, when it when at the time it was contracted. So there, I was starting I was starting sort of from scratch and so on, and so that draft went to um, Kaylin earlier than it would otherwise have gone. And now that you've been working with the same editor, you said for about for three books now? Yeah. Uh, at this point, is your relation, do you have kind of a, a comfortable shorthand between you? Has that sped the process up a little bit? Oh, I think so. I think, you know, part of working with anybody is, um, is, is sort of figuring out uh, the methods that work best for interacting and so you know like even little things like how how is how is most how is editing most effective like what kinds of comments are most effective and so on it, it, some of this doesn't happen consciously necessarily but you sort of work that out together and also uh, whenever you work with um wonderful editors and i've been so lucky as i said to have worked with a few of them um you you internalize a lot of their lessons. And so you're thinking as you're writing and as you're redrafting, you're already thinking, oh, what would Rosemary or Kaylin, what would they say about this? You know, what would they want here? And so you're in a way already anticipating the things that they would, would say in a 13 page letter which just doesn't mean that you don't get a 13 page letter full of complaints, but it means maybe the complaints are slightly um, higher level than they would well, have Look four or five, maybe you'll get it down to 11 pages, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that happy day, I don't know. <laughs> and it seems like it would be almost unfair for, for Kayla to have to work with another author. She's got you uh, pretty well uh, trained. <laughs> you know uh, what to do. <laughs> I guess she's got she's got a bunch of us pretty well trained at this 